everybody set up? Not yet. Right. Zach made me tweet something, so it's his fault. All right, good. And you good. TV's been good. All right, John will start with an opening statement, and then we'll open it to questions. John? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out. I know this is short notice um, during the holiday uh, weekend, but obviously this morning I had a conversation with Luke Fickle. He informed me that he would be taking the head coaching job at Wisconsin. Um, I want to thank Coach Fickle, I want to thank Amy, I want to thank his whole entire family. Um, and I think I speak for all Bearcats when I say that we wish him nothing but the best. Uh, what he has done for this program in his time here has been remarkable. It has set us up um, to be extremely strong going forward in all aspects of our program. And obviously the Big 12 right around the corner, uh, this is a very desirable job with a lot of things going for us and a lot of that has to do with his leadership and his guidance so I want to wish him the best as I said and, and just thank him. Um, I have placed uh, Kerry Combs as our interim um, head coach for the time being. Uh, we did have a chance to meet with the team and Kerry was able to address the team and obviously coach Combs has, has deep roots here, has deep roots with this program has been through similar types of situations in the past. And so I, I trust him implicitly uh, to lead this team through the next couple of weeks, the bowl game, the bowl game prep, um, and everything that, that involves um, you know, the, this, this time period of, of the year for our football program. And I wanna thank him uh, for doing this. He stepped up um, right away. And you can just tell the care and concern he has for our young people, our student athletes, our, our football program. So, Thank you to Coach Combs. We have a tremendous job here at the University of Cincinnati. You know, when you think about our fan support, when you think about the Big 12 opportunities that we have, the Big 12 resources that we have and will have, uh, the recruiting base that we have here in Ohio, right? We are a hotbed for high school recruiting in Ohio, a radius around Ohio, and we have done tremendously well uh, recruiting the very best student athletes in the country to come here. They love this place. They love the energy around this place. We have a university that's going the right direction. We have tremendous academic support, have, have broken all kinds of records in terms of our academic prowess with our football program. I truly believe we set these young men up to be successful, not only on the football field, but in life. And we will continue to do that. We have great staff and support around them. We have donor alignment. I think we have top-down alignment from the president's office um, to our board, to all the staff, like I said, that help our student athletes out day in and day out. We have a new $100 million facility that's being built right next to our athletics complex. It's gonna be spectacular and again, Everything that's happened over the last 20 years has led to this moment, to be able to build that facility, have that complex for our football program, for all of our student athletes to have a nutrition center in that facility. Um, it will be top notch, it will be one of the best in the country, and it will be breaking ground very soon. We have a city that absolutely loves football. They love college football, they love the Bearcats. They've supported us in everything we've asked them to do, from building out Nippert to Fifth Third Arena to now this new football facility and the world of NIL. Our donors and our supporters and our people in this city care deeply about this program. And that passion is gonna to continue to drive us forward. So here we are. We're gonna go find the very best coach in the country to coach the Bearcats going forward. I'm extremely excited about this opportunity. I feel as if I'm a steward of this tremendous program and have felt that from day one. And so I've got great people around me, great connections. I've personally been through this several times before at other institutions and, and through a basketball search here at the University of Cincinnati. I'm ready. 
we're ready. We're going to find a coach that's going to lead this program and win championships. I'll take any questions you might have. Justin. John, did Luke give any indication or, or reasons this morning for why he felt this was the right time to leave, the right situation to leave for? Do you feel like there's anything you or the university could have done to change that? You know, obviously, uh, the success he's had over the years, there's been a lot of suitors. And um, we've had numerous discussions about that and about the dedication that, that um, our institution have and, and that I have in growing our program to be successful. And so those, those conversations continued throughout this year. And so this was always going to be a family decision. And he felt it was the right time for that, that decision to be made and, and really leave it at that. Did he, did coach give you the chance to, to counter, to match, or was this, you know, I've made my decision and, and thanks for everything? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you ask coach those questions, but um, I can tell you obviously, like I, like I just said to Justin, um, we were always having conversations about moving our program forward and anything that we could do. He knew that, that I wanted to invest and I wanted to um, grow this thing and I, I felt strongly about what it was going to take to the, get to the Big 12 and, and be at that level and, and still do. And so we were willing to, to get there with him, but um, it was a family decision and, and he made that decision. Looking forward, Wes Miller was a guy with 10 years of head coaching experience. Is experience something that's high on your list or when you go into this, it's let's find the best candidate, whether it's somebody that's coached for 20 years or one of the best assistants in the country? It's 100%. Let's find the very best person for the University of Cincinnati. You've spoken a lot about family, and, and as did Luke did when he was here. Is it important to you to find a coach with um, not necessarily Cincinnati ties, but Midwest ties and ties to the area that can understand the recruiting of this place around this area? You know, that's certainly a, a dynamic and, and something that we will consider strongly in candidates. But, um, you know, as I just mentioned, I think the goal is to do a nationwide search. There will be potential internal candidates, external candidates, find the very best person um, for this, you know, really this new age of, of college football that we're in. And, and that's going to be a, a key to this as well. Do you have any sense of timeline of when you'd like to get this? New hire made. We're going to move quickly, and and um, you know, I, my my search committee is um, is internal, and you know we've got really good people that will help me do this, and um, we're going to move as quickly as we can. And I and I told the team it's going to feel like a lot longer than it is, um, but we also recognize that there's uh, considerations regarding transfer portal, regarding uh, signing day, and those types of things. So we will we will move uh, very quickly. You mentioned transfer portal. How much does that make it different than this has ever been? Because it opens in eight days, and you've got a, a window now that it's you know specifically targeted. It's a consideration. It is a little bit different than in the past, um, but I would say that the transfer portal um, opening up was was probably going to cause ripples, no matter what your situation is. And so everybody's aware that that the transfer portal. Um, is something that you're going to have to navigate. Um, but it also can be to the advantage of, of a school that's hiring a new coach, too. So um, I, I choose to look at it that way. Did you all have any preparation for this over the last weeks? Is there any preliminary thought on potential candidates, or is that something that comes together in the coming days? No, you, well, you're always preparing. Um, you know, we understand the world of college athletics and the world of college football specifically. So. Um, we are prepared, and um, like I said, we're going to move with, with speed, but with some care and, and find the right person. Chris and Keith. John, with the move to the Big 12, how critical is it not just to make the move quickly, but get the right guy who understands the conference and all the new things that are going to come to this program? Yeah, it's a crucial, crucial hire. I mean, you, you, you need to find somebody that does understand the level of play in the Big 12, um, that can recruit to that level of play. And someone like that is, that is dynamic and that, that can lead young men. And, and so it's a crucial hire. You said there will be some internal candidates. Is it fair to say that Kerry Combs will get a decent look at being the head coach? Like I said, they'll, they'll, we're going to 
look across the country and I mentioned internal because I do think there will be some internal candidates and external candidates and so um, you know we're gonna we're gonna do a full search uh, but move in a very um, expedited way with, with you doing a um, you know be doing a search you want to move in a, in a fast way um, is there an ideal timeline for you to get this done no not an ideal timeline there's just a um, there's some obvious reasons why you want to uh, move it along. Um, but again, you don't sacrifice that for not finding the right person. Has there been any indication on if anyone from this staff will join them or is it too early for that? I don't know the answer to that yet. Caleb? Are you all getting the full three and a half million in buyout money and is it Wisconsin paying that or are you able to say? I'm not able to comment on that yet. Justin. You mentioned having an internal search team. Do you plan to use a search committee at all, and like an outside search committee? I'll, I'll make that decision in the next 24 to 48 hours. You also mentioned the indoor practice facility. It sounds like no changes to that in terms of plans or timeline moving forward. No, no changes to that. Um, we've been meeting on that every week, and uh, it's going extremely well, and, and I'm excited to get that uh, shovel in the ground there and get that thing started. Is there any specific date on when the shovel goes in the ground yet to be determined but it's soon yeah okay. yeah so I, I we're, we're getting close so i don't want to jump ahead of things on that one what was the overall vibe that you got from the team obviously they're going to be hurt but did they seem like they were they were resilient and ready to kind of fight through this thing they are resilient i mean uh you know that the, the culture within that building is one of grit and resilience and so i think that uh, that's going to sh shine through here uh, during this period of time as well. There's great young men, great leaders within those walls. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to see where this thing goes with a lot of those young men um, in that room. With your, ex with your experience in these situations, is there a, a number one <coughs> lesson that you've learned going through this process before? You know, call, call the people that you really trust in the industry. And I think that's my number one lesson. So uh, I'm gonna reach out to those that, that I've known and, and I've interacted with that I really trust. And um, again, just find the very best candidate pool and then narrow in on, on the person that's the right fit for Cincinnati. Caleb and Chad. Have there already been calls made to date to potential candidates, whether it's internal or external? No. I know you won't give a, a, a detailed answer to this, but usually people start reaching out immediately when a job was be, be, like this becomes open. Uh, how active has your phone been today? Maybe would be a good way to put it. Multiples of texts. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten, gotten through them all and that's just how this goes, but that's, that's a good thing. That's a good sign. It means that people really are interested. Um, there, there are people that would, would love this job and, and that's exactly what you want right now. So you get back to me later. You talked about ongoing conversations with Coach Fickle. At what point did you think him leaving, whether it's for this job or just after the season, became a real possibility? I don't think there was a specific point. I mean, uh, you know, again, we we had multiple conversations over over the years, um, and I always knew it was just going to come down to um, his family making that choice. I think for a lot of Cincinnati stakeholders, there's trying to find a coach who there won't be that other job that they they want to leave for, feel like they have to leave for at some point. Is that what you're looking for with this hire specifically? Is there something you feel either the coach or this program can do to maybe ensure that moving forward? Part of my opening statement was the reason why I don't think it is a stepping stone job. I just don't believe it is. I mean, this is this is a program that, that went to the college football playoff um, and now heading into the Big 12 and all the parity that's gonna be within the Big 12, um, we can do everything that you wanna do at Cincinnati. We're gonna have tremendous facilities, tremendous support. Um, we have so much going for us that to me, this is, this is the destination job. We just saw in the last cycle coaches leave Oklahoma and, and Notre Dame. Isn't Stepping Stone kind of thrown out the window with that, that you just try to make the job as attractive as you can Get the best coach possible and see where it lands that, that's partly true um, but i i just believe that once someone's here they're going to understand the support um, 
that they have here, the great place it is to live. Um, and, and so I, I, I believe that it could be a, a, a job that someone stays for a long, long time. Keith. You just did this not too long ago with Wes Miller. What are some qualities as you're interviewing these guys that you're looking for to be the next leader of a program? Yeah, we're gonna need somebody that can recruit at a really high level. Um, we're gonna need somebody that understands the NIL space and, and fully uh, grasps that. And, and um, uh, that's gonna be really, really important. We're gonna need somebody um, that can build a tremendous staff and, and somebody that understands the level of play and um, the dyna dynamic offenses and defenses that you're gonna see in the Big 12. You made, yeah. you made considerable investments to look in terms of salary, assistant pool, obviously the practice facility. Those things are growing with the Big 12, but do you have the sense that you'll have the same but not greater resources to offer the next coach? Like I said, we're, we're always gonna look to invest in this program because we know how important it is. And um, that's just going to be something that we continue to do with, with whoever the next coach is and, and understand what the next coach is looking for and, and what's important to that person. And then we've always gotten the support and, um, uh, that, we, that we've needed from, from campus and from our donors to take care of this program in a way that makes us successful. We'll continue to do that. You've mentioned NIL a couple times. Does that lend to maybe trying to find someone with a little more name brand recognition or is it just somebody that understands where the space is headed, I guess is the right way. Yeah, I think it's somebody that understands where the space is headed. I think it's somebody that, that um, uh, un understands how you need to, to go about um, uh, retaining student athletes um, in this new world of, of college football. And so I, I think there are a lot of people out there that can do that. Um, but certainly that's that's part of the space. We, we, we need to embrace it. Our, our fan base needs to embrace it. Um, Cincy Reigns has launched. It's it's going to be successful. It's, it's really well thought through. And so I'd encourage people that are passionate about the Bearcats to be involved in our NIL programming. Caleb. What has been the uh, reaction from players today? And is there any interaction that has stuck out to you? Also, as a second part to that, have you had any message or given any message to the players, the current players? Yes, I had a chance to meet with them. Um, and, and uh, you know, very similar to the opening statement that I made um, is, is what I said. Um, you know, thanks, Coach Fickle, um, obviously. Uh, told them that, that uh, Coach Combs would be leading the way. And then we talked about um, how this is a really special place to be, and I saw a lot, I, you know I, I looked out there and, and saw head nods, and, and I think they all understand that this is a really special place. They understand um, the school is special, the city is special, the bond they have in that locker room is special, and so uh, this is when you know you, you need leaders to step up and, and bring people together, and I and I'm really confident we'll have that. We've seen first year head coaches come in and have success right away at programs, especially with the portal. What, from your perspective, what impact will a coaching change going to the Big 12 have on your expectation for success? You know, I, I, I think um, you're going to have to give someone time to, to build their, their team, their culture, um, their offense, their defense. You know, I think you have to understand that. Um, and, and so certainly I'm, those expectations in that first year is that we're, we're going to be really well coached and we're going to have a really good team culture. And then from there, you, you hope that you, you can win games, but um, you also understand that, that somebody needs to come in just like coaches in the past have done and, and build their own program. So that does take some time. A couple more. Do we have any more? Any other questions? All right. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Thanks, John.